Howdy, 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 my beautiful Virgo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Velka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Virgo, for June, darling, of course. So be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, Virgo, to get the full spectrum of what's going on in your personal life, because that's how you make uh, general tarot readings work out for you, darling, is by really catering to the energy of your chart. And darling, not Miss Tulip having her hair flying all over right now. <laughs> So let's just get right into this tarot reading here for you this week, Virgo. Let's see what the tea is currently for y'all. What is going on with you, my beautiful Virgos? Oh, the trouble in paradise, it seems, darling. Let's take a look at the back of the deck here. Trouble in paradise here. All right, now this is in the reverse for you here, Virgo, the Three of Swords. So seems to be a nice little uh, reprieve here. This is what you don't see happening here. What you don't see happening, what you don't see coming is a resolution to the problems that you're facing right now, to the disappointments, to the to the pains really here, Virgo. Um, right now, it's probably started out for you. Like this is how you like started your week where you're just like, man, like you have like this problem and you're just like, I don't know how I'm going to resolve this. I don't know how are you going to go make go over this mountain do you go through it do you go around it right right now uh virgo what i want you to just know is that don't take on all these burdens at once all right take it one step at a time and you know you have this macro goal right but you want to take micro steps towards that macro goal and realize that you're not going to have this done overnight so as i was saying beforehand virgo um right now you feel really hopeless by uh with this situation really frustrated don't know how to bring clarity to it right but i can guarantee you by the end of this week here virgo you will be feeling completely satisfied with this well maybe not satisfied satisfied might be a strong word for you virgo Ago, but you will be feeling how would i put this you will have a direct understanding on like where you need to go a lot more clarity than what you have currently going on here because you have the lovers the hanged man as well as the nine of cups coming in here right so this is what i was saying with the troubles in paradise here you're having some difficulties it's like you had you had a wrench thrown into your plans here virgo is what i see here and you might have been uh it's like you just committed to something you know this makes me think of being like you just signed on to a new job you signed on to a new commitment and then it's just like the very next day like you have all these problems that just present to themselves to you and you're just like man like what do i do from here all right what i want to be telling you here virgo is like it's and i know this might be my optimism coming in here virgo but it's like this pain that you're going through this disappointment that's happening to you right now it's meant to redirect you a little bit here all right so it's understandable that you're reacting in the way that you're reacting to this wrench being thrown at you because that was spirit's plan this entire time like they knew that it was going to shake things up for you here virgo all right because i get the sense that some of you guys were settling some of you guys virgo were at this point of where I don't want to say that y'all were just like gliding by with the situation, Virgo, but it's giving me this sense of where it's like spirit wants you to be asking for more. Does that make sense? It's like spirit wants you to be asking for more. Spirit wants you to, it's it's like, you know what the scenario that's coming to mind, Virgo, it's like you have like the MC being like, oh, can I get a, like a heck yeah, honey, right? And you say, it's just like, oh, heck yeah, right? And they want, your spirit's like sitting there, that MC is just like, no, I want you to speak it louder, speak it more proud, take up more space, square off your shoulders, darling, straighten up your spine, right? Unclench your jaw. Um, they want you to have more of a commanding presence. They want you to be more demanding here, uh, Virgo. So let's get some more clarity on this here. So 10 of wands, <laughs> this is very much so like the, uh, let's see if we can get this to be focusing, honey. Can we be, I know I have, you have this beautiful face to be focusing in on camera, but let's get it regardless. It's the 10 of wands, honey. Okay. So how spirit's going to, uh, be working with you here is just by addressing these bird, like stacking out a bunch of burdens on, on you here, Virgo, until you're forced to have to make a decision here. All right. And so what I want to be asking you at this time here, Virgo is start asking yourself the question being like, you have this complication here, right? And it's like, it feels like it's the end of the world. All right, you feel like it's the end of the world. You don't know where to, where to be going next. <clears throat> Ask yourself what you need to be changing. All right, ask yourself, um, is this even worth it for some of you guys here, Virgo? Because I get with this nine of cups here, with this lover's energy, it's like, <sighs> it just gives me very much so like you could be expecting more from somebody if you were to command for it, Virgo. 
right? You could be expecting more from somebody. You could be getting more from a situation if you were to go about it in a different way. If you were to, um, yeah, let's see if we can get some more cards here. Ace of Swords and then Page of Pentacles. Spirit's almost like telling you straight up, darling, where it's just like, I see you, Virgo, getting like, it's with this hope, with this wrench in the plans that was thrown on you this week. It's like, it's Spirit's hope for you to start delving into a new creative idea, something that would ha put you into new action here. So let's just say like the wrench in your plans, like your, everything is going okay for you, darling. And then you're just like, like you just had a bunch of car problems pop up, like a bunch of unexpected bills, medical bills or car problems, you know, life is early, right? And so spirit's just like, all right, like you're a comfortable Virgo. You were kind of just gliding on by. We're going to throw this wrench in your plans, force you to be about action, force you to to find a new way to develop more income. All right. If we're going to use that analogy here. Ace of Swords, this is a card of creative ideas. Page of Pentacles is opening up that new stream of revenue, opening up the conversation um, for the potential in something. All right. And so what I see for many of you Virgos is that um, for many of you guys, you'll notice like a lot of the uh, the complications that you have right now are would would be clarified if you were to just give like, you know, for some of you guys it's going to be a place of where you you take this as a sign this week be like you know what this is just a sign where it's just like you can no longer try to make this nine to five job work you got to start looking elsewhere you got to start being in control of your own money right uh something in that narrative but i feel like for many of you virgos once you decide to make the decision to really change things up Virgo, instead of trying to just like take it on brute force, uh, like take it on and just be like, you know, we're just going to make it through without really making any changes. Like that's where the complications will continue on until like your for like your spirit's going to have put so many burdens on you until you're forced into the decision, Virgo, that you would get to anyways, where you're just like, all right, I got to do something else to pay these bills. I got to, you know, whatever that is for you, what it, whether it's a bill, whether it's a person, like, I don't care, right? Well, I do care, but it's like, it's not my tea to be trying to figure out for you because you'll know it, Virgo, right? And so while I know it's easier said than done, Virgo, of where it's just like, you have all this chaos going on right now, it kind of seems a little bit ridiculous to be like, to have like a new idea or to dabble into i have a cough coming on <clears throat> it might seem counterintuitive to uh, experiment with something else to add on more stresses with a new uh job or something in that manner but that's where the, a lot of the clarity will come in for you i feel like you'll be pleasantly surprised it, it's like you're getting purpose now uh virgo you're going to be forced into getting some purpose here and we even have the Empress, the Wheel of Fortune, as well as the full energy coming in for you. So this is pretty major because this is like, this is to me, Virgo, where it's like you start realizing like how attractive you are to the world, how attractive you are to uh, other people, how talented you are. Like, it's almost as if like, for how would I put this, Virgo? <sighs> It's like you have this little bit of ugly duck syndrome of where you think that you are not going to be able to attain a certain level of financial success or obtain like whatever success that is for you, whatever success looks like, right? You feel always felt as if you weren't pretty enough, talented enough, or it just wasn't meant to be part of your story, right? You know how it is, Virgo, where it's just like... You are, it's like you always used to just be so dismissive. It's like you were always going to be the one to celebrate for other people and their successes, Virgo, but you never kept that, kept that same energy for yourself, right? You know how good of a friend you are to other people, Virgo, and you always push your friends to uh, see themselves in their truest light, right? We're, you're always the ones, Virgo, to uh, when a friend says that they're ugly or they're not, they're not good enough, you're always the one to be like, wait a minute, darling, you already know this tea. Like, don't be, you know, don't be beating yourself up in this way you know like you you correct their thinking you rem ha help them remember like their place in this world and like where their potential is but then i just sit here and ask you virgo like why don't you keep that same energy for yourself right and so that's what's really happening for you right now virgo where it's just like yes you have like this disruption here right you have these unexpected bills that you need to pay you have this you have all this unexpected energy around you you don't really know where you're going to take your next step forward here but 
what I can be telling you here, Virgo, is that once you get into a little bit more of a clearer state of mind where you are honest with yourself here, Virgo, because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to just have that honest conversation with yourself and be like, all right, why am I not giving myself the same energy that I give to my friends, that I give to my families, that I give to my loved ones, essentially, right? You know, you have to have that honest conversation with yourself here. And, you know, and you, some of you guys, Virgo, you might not... Because I feel like that's where the, like a lot of the resistance is, Virgo, for you guys. Because And I acknowledge outside of this, you know, outside of like what I'm doing right now, it's a lot easier said than done. But it's this sense of where it's time for you to change your story here, Virgo. You can't continue gliding on in life in the way that you have been because it's not honoring your highest potential. It's not honoring what it is that you are personally meant to do for your personal life, right, here. So it's like for you, Virgo, well... I'm not trying to downplay your pain, but I think the reason why I'm so optimistic about what it is that you're currently going through is because I'm just so excited for what's going to be coming and what's going to be happening for you here, Virgo, because it's not happening to you. It's happening for you um, because this is like what it is that you needed to uh, finally tap into your own personal highest potential. So I'm not happy that you're uncomfortable, but I'm really excited and happy about where this discomfort that you're currently dealing with, Virgo, what it's going to uh, push you to do, what it is that's going to create in your personal life here, Virgo. So that's where I'm at, you know, with it. But um, as I said, <laughs> Virgo, I could just be overtly optimistic for no reason, darling, all right? But um, that's the tarot reading that I have for you this week here, Virgo. Hopefully you found some tarot cards that did resonate with you, darling. All right. If you did, let me know in the comments below. All right. Give this video a like and subscribe, Virgo. It's completely for free. So why wouldn't you, darling? Come on now. You want to hang around this a little bit more, don't you, darling? <laughs> uh, Virgo, if you want to book a private reading with me, my website's linked down below. Simply Velka. Dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both just being simply velco darling same as here all right and yeah darling i hope some of these cards uh gave you some clarity i hope you have a better understanding of what's happening to you at this current point in time and like where spirits trying to direct you darling all that good stuff honey but um yeah i love you so much virgo and hopefully i get to connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling